Hi everybody, Trev's Tin Toys here again. Um, this engine uh, is a half size copy of an American engine called a Bremen, which was used extensively at the turn of the last century for taking water from supply, which would have been lakes, ponds, streams, that sort of thing, into uh, towns uh, that needed a water supply. Obviously it had to be treated uh, before they could use it, unless it was just for washing. This one's about four foot high. It came as a casting kit. All the silver bits you see uh, all, all, all have to be sourced and uh, second hand and that sort of thing. The um, kit I bought from a company, um, I've had a couple of bits uh, from the same company. Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't think they're, they're trading any longer. Um, but uh, there's probably not a lot of cool for engines like this. But uh, it's, a, it's a lovely little engine. I think you'll agree it's a lovely little engine. Um, you can see the action of it. And I've added a few little bits to it, which is this speed adjuster on the top, that silver knob there. As I've said before on my others, if you've seen any of my other videos, um, it wasn't part of the drawings, but um, I built quite a few of these things and I know how to sort of make them good and bad. Um, and that one, you either open it up to increase or shut it down to decrease the amount of air going between the two cylinders. The, um, the yardstick at the back, you can see is a yardstick actually. Um, which is on the, on the floor, um, so it, it's about um, just over 40 inches high. So it's quite a quite a lovely uh, lovely engine. Biggest engine I think I've ever I've ever put on, put on the lathe because of the size of the cylinders and that sort of thing. But I did enjoy building it, um, and uh, it's a uh, it's a lovely engine to take about and uh, and and show to people. I've had some wonderful comments about it um, because. It really is a lovely little engine. I think you'll agree it's a lovely little engine to watch the action. And um, the gauze, uh, which is that little sort of witch's hat, if you like, you can see the water coming out of that, which is going down onto the gauze. The idea of the gauze is that the water separates, runs down the gauze, which gives it a much, much uh, wider amount of cooling that can happen before the water goes back into the recycling of go through the engine to keep it cool and indeed if it was uh, pumping water uh, uh, you know for a, a commercial reason it runs uh, like this about five and a half hours on one of those gas tanks which you can I used to pay a pound I think they're about a pound and five pence now for these little uh, gas heaters that you can buy for caravans and boats and that sort of thing it will run five and a half hours uh, about five and a half hours ticking over like this it's obviously not full full pelt because no need for it. Um, you can see what it's doing. The silver tank is a uh, the inside of a baby burko, which uh, all the ladies had to use many years ago to boil their whites, get their, their whites nice and nice and white as it were. And um, um, I just thought you might like to see, um, you know, the size of these engines that can be. The full size one was over seven foot high. Now this particular one, I've built it so that. I can transport it around and show it off. Um, it's got a little sled that clips to the side, on the left hand side, with a couple of straps, and I'll just push it to the back of the car. It's a four, I've got a four wheel drive, push it to the back of the car, push the top and it tips in, and you lift the bottom and it slides in, and the same when you get to the other end where you're getting it out. Um, it's a one man thing, I mean, it's. Uh, it, I, I can do it, and uh, I'm not a terribly strong man, so. Uh, but the idea was that I wanted to build a large engine that I could take around and show off. So I hope you like it and uh, hope you enjoyed watching it. And thanks very much for watching.